I think the Coleman spirit is inquisitive, it's value-based, and I think that it's forward-thinking in, in a lot of ways, but it's also very traditional and honors seven generations of, of knowledge. So it's a really unique blend, I think. So as far as I know, we've been in Oregon farming since sometime around the 1850s. So I am generation seven, and my son Ben will be generation eight. Now why would you come to this area? I always joke, there wasn't an Idaho trail, there wasn't a Washington trail, there was an Oregon trail. And there's a reason behind it. If you come to the Willamette Valley, it's like the Garden of Eden. It's green, it's luscious, there's water, the soil is great. For somebody that wants to farm, that's where you want to go. One of the things I like about growing hops is that they just look so unique. There's not any other crop that's 18 feet up hanging from a bunch of wires. I love when friends would come visit in college and be like, are those hops? I'm like, yeah, those are hops. I think being in a hop field is kind of magical. It's interesting to see them in the wild, but in a hop field when they're all trellised, it's a little bit of like Alice in Wonderland kind of feel. My favorite part about hop farming is watching the hops grow from zero to 18 feet and then being able to see the hops being harvested and turning into my favorite beverage, beer. <laughs> hop harvest for the Coleman family is definitely a unique process. We take these giant 18 foot vines from the field with a variety of equipment. come through with a bottom cutter, which chops the vines at the bottom. And then you come through with a hop truck, which is followed by a top cutter. And the top cutter cuts the vines at the top and drops them down into the truck. The truck then goes directly to the picker, and the picker then separates the cones from all the other vines, leaf matter. They then enter a drying process that takes anywhere from seven to 10 hours, depending on the variety. After that, they're then compacted down into a bale and sent off to either a broker's or to the brewer's. One thing I love about Coleman is that they are a multi-generational family farm. So we have all of their knowledge and what they've learned over the years, but then we have these new hires with fresh, new, exciting ideas. And so we get to kind of morph the two together to create Coleman. Coleman's are pioneering hop to our research. We're learning a lot about how harvest date and how different varieties respond to their environment and what type of farming practices we can do to affect the crops and, and grow better quality crops. How can we do things better, more efficiently, more effectively, and keeping a hold of that tribal knowledge and the things that make farming a little bit more of an art than a science. And I think that they also innovate in the efforts to expand the community of hop farming and of, of hops in general. At Coleman, we have a strategy, and the strategy is simple. Is we want to see the success of the brewer, working together to constantly improve the craft beer industry. I mean, isn't it great to be in Oregon as like a beer lover and, and a brewer and a hop grower? Because it's like, it's all happening here. And you see the consumer base that just embraces the culture of beer, but also agriculture. The connection between those two, I mean, that story is really strong here. I think Oregon spirit is kind of a derivation of the pioneering spirit. I mean, everybody who came out here was looking for opportunity. And I think the Oregon that we live in now is kind of an extension of that. Pioneer spirit to me, it means you're not afraid to blaze a new trail. It means you're not afraid to try something new and you're not afraid to go do something that nobody's done before.